We are told the entire complex has undergone a makeover. From the pictures and the lack of controversy, it does appear that most are satisfied with the aesthetics. We've been told that the Ministry of Culture has supervised the makeover, keeping in mind India's confluence of cultures, religions, languages. The new parliament will display replicas of the Jain temples in Gujarat, the Konarak temple in Urisha, the cellular jail in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, the Sanchi Stupa in Madhya Pradesh and the Taj Mahal in Uttar Pradesh, among many more iconic symbols of Bharatvarsh. In a few days, we are told this new grand Garb Griha, so to speak, of our democracy will be unveiled. As we look towards the reopening with anticipation, it is also an opportunity to look back at what has passed under the grand parabola of the old Houses of Parliament. Unfortunately, viewers, our present day parliamentarians haven't left much room for us to be proud of. Yes, we will get a new womb, so to speak, to nurture democracy. But if this womb is blighted by the tumors of malign agenda masquerading as lawmaking, degenerating debates, and terminally declining decorum, then viewers, we would have passed up a much needed opportunity to revive parliamentary due process and procedure. The last sitting of parliament was least productive since 2014. Someone, viewers, must step up to the plate, create space for true bipartisanship so that we can deliver to the public at large, viewers, a democracy they deserve. You know the problems. You know all the problems because, thankfully, viewers, we have cameras inside the Houses of Parliament. We can see when MPs skive during important debates. We can see when they dodge, when they misinform and when they misbehave. Parliamentary ethos is in decline. The last sitting of Parliament was least productive, as I said, since 2014. I'll just give you some statistics. Lok Sabha sat for only 47% of the scheduled hours. The Rajya Sabha for only 42%. This is all according to PRS legislative research. A very worthy organization, viewers, that studies statistically these matters. There's also declining decorum. In August 2021, marshals were summoned and were attacked by members of parliament who had decided to brawl and jostle over issues and the introduction of bills. During this session, ex-Vice President and then Rajya Sabha Chairman Venkai Naidu broke down. Yes, he broke down. He weeped, lamenting the mockery of decorum and parliamentary practice. Viewers, there's been a sharp fall in time for debates and scrutiny over bills. In December 2021, Parliament session ended with 60% of the bills passed without scrutiny. Can you believe it? 60%. Some of the most significant legislations passed without discussion. The trend is on the up and is a disturbing reflection on the breakdown of spirit of bipartisanship in the House. There are growing percentage of criminals among our MPs in Parliament. You know the statistics, they're on your screens viewers and some have very very heinous crimes marked against their names or at least charges of heinous crimes marked against their name if india is to truly evolve as perhaps the most stirring democracy of the world then we must begin from the first of february to redress some of these issues and reverse the decline in parliamentary ethos. But viewers, the big question is, who does the onus fall upon first to do this? Who is going to demonstrate that statesmanship? Let's open this up because these are some important questions that need to be posed 
And we have with us some very 